Kristen, uh, the commission brings together city leaders, police leaders, and a lot of other experts. The point is to review and study homicides in Baltimore City and to try to come up with solutions. There seems to be a report of another murder in Baltimore City almost daily. They're up nearly 60% since last year. The thought behind the Homicide Review Commission was to figure out why homicides happen in the first place, to identify trends and to figure out what to do about them. But that research does not need to include information from open and pending cases, according to City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. I believe it's just, it, it's, it's unproductive and I think it's insensitive. Mosby was on WBAL radio Monday addressing a recent report that her office has derailed the commission process by not giving researchers information on current cases. We're not going to disclose sensitive information that's going to put potentially put people's lives in jeopardy. You know, this study is looking for how much drugs, how much gangs, how much substance abuse affects homicides. These metrics can easily be obtained through closed cases, and the police department agreed with me. Sunday, a Baltimore Sun article quoted Commissioner Leader Daniel Webster as saying that Mosby's position took the air out of the whole process. He sent a statement to 11 News Monday saying, I look forward to continuing my efforts with the state's attorney's office, the city, and the Baltimore City Police Department to make progress on reducing violence in our city and communities. On the phone, his spokesperson said that other cities have used open cases with no problems. Mosby explained that she's more than willing to work with the commission, but also indicated she thinks the money could be better spent. So yeah, gang task force, they are the problems, those are the individuals. Why aren't we utilizing our resources for that? I mean, trying to figure out why homicides take place, that makes absolutely no sense to me. We could use $200,000 to better protect victims and witnesses of crime that are afraid to come forward. And now in a statement today about the program, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake said in part, given the success this program has shown in other cities, I believe it is a worthwhile investment to research and determine if similar success can occur here in Baltimore. It goes on to say, my administration is committed to working in partnership with the state's attorney to address any concerns she may have about this program. We're live at City Hall tonight. Kai Reed, WBAL, TV 11 News.